Hello everybody, I'm Conquering History Games, and welcome back to part 14 of my United States of America campaign here at Hearts of Iron for the New Order. So we're finished up with that war in South Africa. Uh, of course, we're going to still be trying to support these provisional governments uh, before we do a pullout. Um, and I kind of think this sort of works with RFK, how he's feeling that way. It's like, oh, you know, I want equality, but he gets to not have to get his hands dirty with the actual war. He just has to deal with the nation building afterwards, so I guess lucky for him. Uh, just wanted to review real quick. Okay, so the so his party has forty eight seats, and the like, yeah. So like technically, the center NPP, which is his personal ideology, has the most, um, you know, senators. So that's the uh, freaking the 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 brown. No, not the brown. They're the the purples here. So uh, and not all of these though are just strictly NPP center. So for example. Um, Nebraska here is, is shown as purple because uh, the senior senator, I guess, is NPP. Um, but it's it's very mixed. We this wait what? Why is it purple? I guess because it's mixed. Oh, okay. So these brown states are completely in favor of him. So it's of course the Northeast, Northeast liberal, right? Um, but he got California. He got Washington. He's got Montana. He's, it's sort of all over the place. Um, the Republican Democrats have Middle America pretty locked down. Uh, okay, this is weird though. Like right here, it's the far right section of the party. They're both gray, but it says we don't actually have. Oh no, they do have ten. I thought it was zero. Never mind. Yeah, so Alabama, Mississippi, Strom Thurmond, of course, is still hanging out from South Carolina with Ernst Holling. Hmm. Barry Goldwater's out here in Arizona. Oh, Bay Bayard Rustin is one of the senators from Pennsylvania right now. How about that? Hmm. Okay, well, uh, anyway, anyway, so there's, there's no straight out majority. I, like, kind of, well, technically there's 50, wait a minute, this isn't adding up. Oh, yeah, because there's not 100 exactly senators right now. We don't have Hawaii and there's things like that. Um, so we've got, yeah, 48 and 50 here. So technically the, the Republican Democrats have the edge. I don't know how much of a problem that's going to end up being, but, uh, I think we're just going to speed through these early couple of focuses pretty quickly. And we're just going to keep spending, uh, political power down in Africa whenever we get the chance to, we've got to get infantry equipment up and running again i'm wondering if i should even bother uh replacing the you know filling up with these medium battle tanks how are we making so few incidentally because if i look at my production screen here uh i don't know i've only got five factories yeah they, they are expensive i guess civilizing influence of women former senator maureen newberger has become the first woman to be appointed to the cabinet of the united states what oh that's right because fdr FDR did, wasn't president in this world. Okay. Um, elected in the 50s. Very popular in Oregon. Uh, some question the decision of appointing a politician known for a focus on social issues to a largely economic position, that being Secretary, Secretary of, of Treasury, uh, to ensure his administration would not prioritize profit over people. If you want something done in politics, ask a woman. Uh, so we have a teacher with a bachelor's of arts. The future is bright. So this is going to help our production efficiency cap and infrastructure construction speed. That's great. That's great. Um, infrastructure construction speed is what I meant to say. Uh, use 10% more consumer good factories. Use 10% less. Hmm. The dinosaur of the party. So the Secretary of State is going to be Claude Denson Pepper, representing the interests of the common man while definitely managing the immense and towing mountain of bureaucracy that the Department of State demands. Okay. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. So this is going to help with my special forces. Born in the USA. It would seem as soon as the boat docked at Norfolk, Virginia port, that Jonathan Stafford, soldier of the 134th Jayhawk Plains Division, would find peace after years of turmoil in the South African War. Uh, okay, so he went off and trained. He went to Port Elizabeth. He worked. He was trained in Kansas. Um, 
he was involved in several offensive against the German and pulled together several kills, ended when he was shot in the shoulder. He's a proud American. He hoped the general public would hail him as a hero who fought for his country. To put it bluntly, he received the exact opposite. Protesters spat on him, threw dirt in his face, and even tried to frame him for murder. Students from Kansas State found his address and attempted to set his parents' farm ablaze, but police arrested them before they can act. The public response to Stafford's actions was possibly even more scarring than his experience in the war. He only did as he was told. Hmm. Jonathan Stafford. Who is that? Huh. I'm seeing like some stuff about actors and stuff. I think it's probably just somebody that a name they made up for the for the mod. Doesn't seem to be anybody connected to this era. Unrestrained troops and things like that. Um <clears throat> so again, we're looking for what what is act okay, twenty days, ten days, thirty days. Let's unrestrain the troops. Um to help with the, the stuff with the garrisons. I don't know. They've all got plenty of recruitable population. I don't know if we need to be spending money on that. Although damage to garrisons and crew includes equipment loss, doesn't it? Uh, while we project Uncle Sam on every continent, Uncle Sam himself is sickly and weak. No matter how much it costs to the very bones and bloods of our nation, we must close this great gaping fault in our great country, not just for America, but for the world. Uh... <clears throat> So we could do another propaganda campaign. I think that might be a good idea. Is there a way for me to check their stability? I always forget. Oh, yeah, here we go. They've got 66, 25, and 75, respectively. Okay, wow. So East Africa is doing quite well. Um, does William have personal modifiers for that? Okay. Expanding outreach capital. He implemented capital punishment. That seems to have helped things. Uh, but they are actually, except for the provisional government, they seem to be doing, I'd say, pretty well, all things considered. Uh, I don't think we need to do things like opera, uh, you know, do napalm use. Uh, let's provide some intelligence support as well, I guess. I'm not sure, like, are, is the stability of the mandates, okay, it's at one for Central Africa. But... Is there a specific... I wish I knew if there was a target number we're aiming for. You guys get what I mean? Um, hold on, what is this over here in Russia? Oh, yeah, the Commonwealth of Siberia. I forgot about that. So I guess that's who we could help out now, since uh, the ones we, we helped out before are gone. Social Democrats. They're just like us. How about that? Who are they fighting right now? The Serbian War on the Commonwealth of Siberia. Excuse me, the Serbian War on the Commonwealth of Serbia. Because uh, we know this is known as Serbia. Um, we could do some military shipments. Uh, the Arsenal of Democracy. Maybe not that, but let, let's help them out, I guess. We need to have them put down this Workers' Federation so they can actually stabilize. Because then I think they're going to have their area locked down for a very long time so in theory they should be then in the best position to unify if they've been stable for the longest uh the death of a supreme court justice let's fill that vacancy in just a minute uh unrestrained troops okay provide support equipment yes implement pretend the protect the people tactics hmm You know what? I don't give a damn about the, the tanks. Let's start dumping things into infantry equipment. Because we've got quite a hole to dig ourselves out of. Okay, here's our first actual decision. So we have here, across the aisle, the eternal chaos that is American politics has only been... Ter okay, okay. I'll read this once I decide who I pick, but... Robert F. Kennedy will be seen as a more liberal candidate. Now you can use your Republican allies across the aisle for temporary votes. Alternatively... We can get Law of Equivalent Exchange. What is this, Full Metal Alchemist? Um, you can now use your party allies for temporary votes. Robert Kennedy will be seen as a less liberal con uh, uh, candidate. Okay, so then this leads to majority at any means versus a necessary sacrifice. Hmm. Um... Either it passes or it passes in a direct form. Is a prerequisite to success. 
Uh, rally the progressives. This looks like it could be either way. Okay, so this is basically what are we going to do in terms of... Um, because 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 the, the 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 central premise of this administration is we want to pass the civil rights bill a proper one so we could either try to convince the dixiecrats to go along with it or we're going to tell the dixiecrats to go f themselves and we're going to try to appeal to the republicans even though there's the donkey here but like we're kind of you know in the non dixiecrat democrats because there are democrats outside the south um so like if we look at the senate thing um okay that's okay that's all republican but like like up here new hampshire these are both democratic areas uh let's see virginia's democratic well that's kind of like dixiecrat isn't it oh my gosh oh yes yeah. so there's a couple here and there there's democrats in kansas there's one in iowa there's a couple in oklahoma they're in colorado both of them in utah are. so so we want to we we it looks like if we go across the aisle we're trying to get the damn um dixiecrats out and say sorry but you need to go fuck yourselves uh <laughs> so we're gonna do that we're gonna go across the aisle uh kennedy has been working to put that chaos to rest it has decided to, he has decided to do this he must work with the enemy temporarily of course not permanent rfk announced his new policy of cooperating with the republican party especially over their socially liberal policies as well as their progressive views on the welfare state with the republican party essentially being forced to take any opportunity they can they've grabbed kennedy's generous hand with eagerness now with the mpp and the republicans working hand in hand we can finally put the death throes of old american politics to rest plus we get to meet with lbj which is cool so we're gonna do that um okay so this charity for all thing can't be done until we've passed the civil rights act What's this? They're over here. Oh, they're over there. Uh, so Fidel Castro just sent us some Cuban cigars. That's nice. Too bad we can't get Belgian chocolate. Hmm. Uh, you know, Henry, we're going to have to make some changes. After all that turmoil in Africa and Guyana, the voters want us to show our teeth when the fascists come knocking. That's the wave that washed the Republican Democrats right out of the White House. If we don't show a firm hand with the Japs, It'll wash us right back out to sea in 68. Exhaling a thin stream of smoke, Mucci tapped his cigar into the ashtray. Smiling at the president with nicotine-stained teeth, he said, Damn straight, Bobby. We're going to give Hirohito the spanking his daddy ought to have given him. Kennedy was unable to prevent his mouth to curving in amusement. That we will, Henry. That we will. Time to rattle some sabers. So, Social Democrats. Uh, yeah, so we're basically... So we've we've... You know, we put some boots to asses. We we held on to Guyana. We've created this uh, very nice organization, a free nation stronghold in Africa. It's basically half the continent and one third of Madagascar. Um, so now it's Japan's turn. Supermarket in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, two o four a.m. Uh, so this guy's saving up money for college. Kennedy had given a speech on the importance of education for America's youth and expressed support for working class people going to college. Um, was it possible the president really cared about people like him? Joe had been too young to vote in 64, but even if he'd been old enough, he and his family's lack of faith in the establishment formed after generations of alienation and disenfranchisement would likely have kept him from the polling booth. He hoped that didn't make him a liberal. Dad wouldn't like that. Stacking cans of powdered milk. Joe pictured himself receiving a scholarship. Perhaps it was time he registered to vote. The wise man knows not to mess with Tammany Hall. What? <clears throat> okay, we can expand some outreach programs here. Yeah, let's do that. That's big help to them, I think. Um, so is building up the government, but... Maybe I just need to get everybody to one one stability you know just a, a that maybe one is supposed to be what's maxed out it's kind of like baseball right you know they, they do the o 33 you know on base percentage of like 0.650 hitting 300 is very good stuff like that uh, so if you just hit one you're perfect somehow so maybe that's what we're supposed to be trying to do i'm not so sure let's uh let's kind of take a look here so we have we can't do this charity for all thing until there's the civil rights act past so we're just not even gonna look at that right now but with the is with malice toward none uh we have to remove equal obstacles to the full integration of races okay so it's probably 
refining the bill push okay here's the civil rights act okay so we're gonna we need to go left and then once we're here we probably can then do all this stuff so it's okay okay over here i guess this we're gonna have to figure out our strategy who we're gonna have to work with presumably the various senators and then once we're done with civil rights we can do other things like fight poverty fight hunger rose by any other name affordable housing social security but social doesn't so because social, oh, there was no fdr so they don't have social security uh taking this focus will prevent you from taking non-social security act focuses until the social security has been sent through congress ah okay so hmm so i guess that means whenever i'm doing are they all like that like affordable okay pass a bill Okay, it doesn't look like they're all like that. I was going to say, is it something where whenever I'm working on a bill here, it's going to like start some events and you have to go over here? Oh, hey, Cesar Chavez. Uh, okay. Hmm. We used to get Cesar Chavez Day off here at El Paso. Not no more. Uh, beat the bullies, bind up our wounds. Eventually, this leads to the greatest generation. This will replace American despair with American malaise. We've got to do all this just to get to a malaise. I didn't even realize what's going on over here. Oh my gosh. On to Tokyo. Okay. Wow. Lot going on. Lot going on. And then finally over here. Uh... Okay. And the good night, sweet prince we go to visit JFK's grave. All right, so I guess it's like, so probably if, if, because I don't know if we can, if we can pass everything, there's probably going to be some kind of emotional event at the grave where it's like, you know, we did it, Jack. Um, okay. And then this brothers in arms thing. You know, let's get, let's get focuses going and then I could read stuff in between. Uh, okay, so this is just... Uh, Robert Kennedy Cat Herder, Herder, the Dixiecrats, our geriatric band of good old white boys, of white good old boys, holding an iron grip on the reins of power throughout the South, eager to defend Jim Crow under the flimsy pretense of states' rights. Uh, these Cretans are a sizable portion of the MPB. President Kennedy has decided to parlay with the party right in a series of publicized meetings. Either the Civil Rights Act passes, albeit heavily reduced, or does not pass at all. I was noticing down here it says that if we're getting filibustered, this can't pass, right? So, and the Civil Rights Act was filibustered historically, so we're going to have to figure something out there. I don't know what that means. Um, I don't know if that means we're going to have to have a certain majority behind us. Is this, like, supposed to be a playoff of Romeo and Juliet? Two parties with different histories but goals alike. We find them in Washington, D.C., the capital of our fair union, where civil agreement makes civil life nice. An old alliance finds itself in new trouble. Two rivals are brought together to fight injustice. Uh, I'm just saying Romeo and Juliet ended in a double suicide, I'm pretty sure, so uh, <laughs> not a good start. Um, Bobby went to go meet with LBJ. Uh, they confirm what they long believed, that the other person was of the worst character imaginable, rude, brash, and too highly thinking about himself. The meeting was planned and arranged for by one of the Republican Party leaders, and worst of all, there were going to be more of these meetings. When the president came back to the White House, he said, He has some, actually, only a few good ideas, but what an awful man. The less I see him, the better. Despite the harsh comments, the meeting was actually somewhat constructive, and they managed to work out some ideas. And a note about it was circulated in the party. We might be able to actually get something done. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. What do we want to do here? Um, send it advisors, right, all this stuff. I think we're just going to... What do we do? We want to build up the government? Why don't we build up the government just to let it down? No. Yeah. Choosing our SCOTUS nominee. Uh, let's go liberal, right? Because we're, we're, that's what we're doing. Um, now, how do I check the Supreme Court again? It's up here, right? War shipments to Siberia. Sure, that's nothing. Um, but no, where's the 
dealing with the MPP FR. Oh, okay, so we have new decisions here. I didn't even notice that first. But the state of the Supreme Court right now, it's moderately liberal. Yes, so that just gave us five liberals, four conservatives. So we have the majority now. That's going to be good for pulling off civil rights. Um, is the music? Oh, music's been off. I'm so sorry. Get some water. So, MPs, who cares? Uh, field hospitals, same. Industry stuff, I think we're just all caught up. Engineering, same thing. How about we... Oh, I don't know. Let's just work on the Air Force or something. Okay, we have no enemy ciphers currently being decrypted. Uh, let's work on Indonesia, because there's probably going to be some sort of uprising at some point. Don't know when that is, but it should be happening. Um, ba, 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 da, 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 da. So, while we might not agree on much, it is our duty to the party that we ensure it does not crumble. We must keep the right and center at all costs. However, does that mean we should not take advantage of the situation if the opportunity arises? So we have a small favor. You can call in a favor from an FR senator and two of his friends along with him. This will increase our standing. We can do big favors. Uh, okay, but we cannot do this if we're planning the civil rights bill. Hmm. By raising money, we can get a bundle of senators. I see. So I'm kind of hesitant to invest in this. Because, yeah, I think it's just one of those things that we can say, Hey, man, I'll help you out in your next election. And he's go, F you. I don't like black people. Period. End of story. Um, boy, that sound bite's going to haunt me for the rest of my life, isn't it? But I think that's, that's just how it is. Uh, to paraphrase that line from Lincoln, there are some people who are irredeemable. They hate black people, and they hate God for making black people. Uh, so we're just going to have to get enough votes to work around them. Which really, what is there, what, ten of them? Th there's not even far right. Oh, we got ten. We got almost nine the other senators we can play with. Screw them. Uh, rally the progressives. Only seven days. Yeah, that's going to be easy. Uh, the progressive movement, no, uh, for the progressive movement, no other option guarantees America's survival for both the near and far future. Uh, so there are some who are with LBJ, some of whom are with me. Bipartisan accords, legitimacy to legislation in the eyes of the American people. A show of unity with our natural allies across the aisle can smoothen the passage of progressive policies for less backlash and compromise. Here's the cat herder event. That's fun. Who's there... There is a Nordic god who, who, which one was it? It was a woman, but she has a chariot that draws her across the sky, and it's huge cats, so she managed to tame the cats. Um, okay. He never felt confident in public speaking, but he felt he was getting better at addressing the nation. Even so, he never, he'd never have Jack's skills. The man could talk his way out of a pair of handcuffs. Uh, my fellow Americans, today I speak to you not just as your president, but as your leader, the helmsman of the great ship we call the United States. I come to you with a single word, unity. When our founding fathers carved this great nation out of the wilderness, their greatest strength was an unassailable unity, a spirit of togetherness and brotherhood which can carry them through any trial, no matter how grim. Time for the play load. It is no secret that some in the National Progressive Party do not support the policy of our administration, including the great cause of civil rights. I hereby say before God and America that in my administration I will not let the United States be divided by petty factionalism in its government. I intend to work with major figures in Congress outside of the party on the issues of civil rights, particularly with the venerable senator from Texas, Lyndon Johnson. Venerable is a great word to call somebody old in a complimentary way. Together, the National Progressive Party and the Republican Democrats can present a united front on civil rights, ensuring that a fair shake is given to the Americans who need it most. Together, we can do great things. Message just about anyone could believe in. At least he hoped the voters saw it that way. The only thing that will redeem mankind is corruption. So, RD's support's going to increase. NPP support will decrease in the South. I wonder if this might have long-term consequences where we end up passing the bill, but it's because of the Republican Democrats, and so even though Kennedy pulls off his goal, somebody else ends up in power in 68. I don't know. That's a long way off. We'll figure it out when we get there. Hmm. What's going on? Pause. Freezing up. What's going on? Okay, something happened out there in the world. Uh, so I think we're just going to keep 
Let's see, democracy has returned to Italy. Well, good for them, huh? I wish I knew how I could, like, show things, but... I'm not seeing Central Africa's numbers go up at all. Uh, you know what? We're gonna do... Let's see, this is 15 days. Base stability, half a point. So then this should be at 0 0.83 afterwards or something. Uh, for, for Southwest Africa. In memoriam. The assassination of JFK was not just another shock to American policies, it was also a great personal tragedy for his brother Robert. The younger Kennedy has struggled with his grief for a long time and has often even blamed himself for his other brother's demise. Now that he's in power, he's decided the best thing he can do is to honor John's legacy that embodying everything that he stood for. Dignity, equality, and emboldening the spirit of America. We're going to also uh, keep doing on this cryptology. There's just something... Bobby just finds something so fascinating about these agencies. Um, got a research slot available. I don't even know what to take with all this stuff. Ooh, flamethrowers. They throw the flames. Okay. Uh, what other decisions are available to us here? So we're not gonna we're not gonna work with the far right. As I said, they're ir they're ir irredeemable. We don't care. Uh, in fact, have I like deselected their stuff? Yeah. Don't care. We're not gonna work with them. Um. What we are going to do is, let's see, this will increase our investments by a significant amount. That's going to give them manpower. They don't need it. They've got more than enough. Um, and we're trying to do things at home. It's gonna, it's just going to piss people off. Uh, now, how, how are we doing in terms of the infantry equipment? Very soon. Okay, in nine days, we're going to have what we need. So uh, soon, 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 soon. Domestic situation. It's Southwest Africa is getting worse. What are they doing out there? And East Africa's at 666, so that's an easy number to remember if it gets worse. Look, like, let's let another day go by. 6, just 666. Six. What is happening? What are you clowns doing? Mm. Expand the outreach programs. 45 days, plus one stability. Is that like per day? Yeah, let's do a significant increase out there. I don't know what the heck they're doing so like let's let's get to the 10th and then yeah we do the in memoriam thing close this open it again we're gonna keep we're gonna keep an eye out i don't know what's happening but all right with malice toward none uh our nation has always been a melting pot for a multitude of people of all peoples of all colors and creeds get the idea of america as a nation for whites alone persists it was the people's desire to put an end to this tired old sentiment that swept Robert Kennedy into power. If we are to move forward as one country, we must remove the legal obstacles to the full integration of all races and a guarantee to, that all might be afforded the right to live in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Uh, okay, basically, yeah, the far right's just going to keep fighting against us. In memoriam. Uh, champion of the growing civil rights movement. His brother has now ascended to the presidency and plans to continue his father's legacy where he left off. That probably is supposed to say brother's legacy. He's made it clear he will govern with the same ideals and principles espoused by his brother. Uh, also important is Kennedy's economic policy, largely inspired by his father. Okay, that probably is supposed to say father. Under his leadership, he claims the federal government will actively work to combat poverty through welfare programs, state grants, and other initiatives. It seems his brother's socially progressive gener agenda will ring true in all of his actions as president. Because maybe it was the brother, but um, let's do some intelligence support. I'm not sure how much that actually helps. Uh, okay, it's getting better now, and now Africa's at more than one. So when am I? Su I don't know. It's a little. It's a little frustrating. I'm gonna ask one of the devs. I'm, this episode's about to end. I'm gonna. Try to get a hold of one of the devs right now and uh, just see if there's like a goal number I'm supposed to be aiming for. Or maybe I should just stay in there until they're done with their focuses. I really, I don't have a clue. The American way. Yeah, <laughs> what's he doing? Bomb them out! That's what we do. Hold the East African Summit. 
Maybe we just don't pull out, because it seems like there's some sort of decolonization thing that's going to happen. Maybe we just wait, we just never pull out until they're done with all that. What's it going to take, like, a couple years? Oh, the agency's been upgraded. Let's do the army department. Hmm. I just don't know. I really don't. Uh, we got jet engines and stuff here. A lot of this stuff is way ahead of time. Okay. Uh, so we cannot quite ship over arms. Implement protect the people tactics. Oh, we can a little bit though. More base stability. And if we look, oh my gosh, what the heck are you doing in the Congo, Abrams? You're at minus 31% stability. Get your head out of your ass, bro. We got 76 and 76. Yeah, what is your problem? Insurgency, they got black market trading, menace of Cameroon. Unhappy investors. Legacy of the Central Afrikaner system is actually helping get stability. I just don't know what the heck he's doing. Not a clue. Oh good, the Commonwealth, I think it's totally at peace. Cool, so now they're gonna uh, just get to sit around and wait. Uh, they're gonna work on whatever their internal issues are, but nobody else is united yet. So that's good, that's good. I think this is worth continued investment. Maybe. Uh, so yeah, we'll send them. Let's send them a little military shipment. Not much. And I think it comes out of this budget anyway. Like I've already spent it. It's not a whole thing. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Uh, but okay, now it looks like we have an actual decision to make. What's this march forward? Our party has enough votes to pass this legislation. Okay, we don't. Hmm. We probably need the straight up majority for that. So let's see the glorious bill unblemished by compromise well shoot so then we do need to get the far right to help us i think let's see nope we're already planning the bill they're not going to work with us on it so then damn we didn't win the senate so we're going to have to figure something out um hmm Okay, so basically we can figure out a compromise. Like, we're going to have to try to get them on our side. Uh, or we could try to do do something else where we're going to have to maybe refine it. I don't like it. Dang it. Damn! The glorious bill. If only we had done it. Hmm... Getting the votes to ensure its passage. Oh, so we're still going to have to debate it or something afterwards. So we can still sideline the Dixiecrats. Oh, I think this kind of works, though. Anyway, we're going we're gonna to figure it out. I'm actually going to talk to one of the developers. Because um, I just want to make sure that I'm doing this stuff right. Uh, and, and I know that they don't want to me to get spoiled on stuff. Uh, which I don't either. I don't, but sometimes you kind of got to because I do it for you guys. Um... The power of our Civil Rights Act will increase. Okay. Okay, okay, so this actually is better then. Alright. So, I'm Conquering History Games, and I'll see you all in the next episode where uh, we're going to work on this Civil Rights Bill. See you then.